Michael Keaton is often regarded as the definitive version of Batman, as he was the first actor to bring out the dark and gritty nature of the character. Even I grew up watching his Batman movies of the late 1980s and the early 1990s. As a kid I really loved those movies, but to be very honest with you, as I grew up and got introduced to other iterations of the character on live action especially the Nolan movies, my liking for those movies kind of decreased a bit but I still love them very much. However in this video I am going to talk about his second stint as the Caped Crusader, as he returns as the Dark Knight to the DCEU in the Flash movie next year. Although unofficial, it is almost a well-established fact by now, that the Flash movie will not be just a one-off cameo for him. In fact, he is going to appear in a series of movies within the DCEU. As of now, he is set to appear in the Batgirl movie, which is also slated to release sometime next year. He is also said to appear in Aquaman 2. With Ben Affleck leaving the DCEU after the Flash movie, it is almost confirmed that Michael Keaton will be the main Batman in the DCEU timeline going forward. And Michael Keaton is 70 years old to be precise. So, it is quite obvious that a lot of fans are skeptical about his inclusion to the DCEU, as they feel he is too old to play Batman. So, in this video, I am going to give you my point of view and opinion on this topic. So, sit back, relax and enjoy. Before starting, I would like to quickly introduce you to my channel. I cover every updates, news and rumors related to comic book movies and shows. So, if you are a superhero comic book fan please do not forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. So to answer the question of whether I think Michael Keaton is too old to play Batman in the DCEU, my answer is no, he is not. First of all, Michael Keaton is in extremely great shape. He is still capable of filming great fight scenes. To give you an example you can clearly watch him fight in this scene from the movie Protégé which released in August last year. He seems to have no problem kicking and punching like he did back in the day. Secondly, most of his stunts would be performed by professional stuntman. He would just have to play his part as Bruce Wayne and a few scenes wearing the bat costume. To again give you an example, he would have to do a very similar work as the Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. He played a great vulture, so I think he would have no problems playing a great Batman as well. Thirdly I think the technology in 2022 is sufficient to make him look younger and age him sufficiently so that he looks like the Batman from the 1980s. De-aging is something that we have seen time and time again where actors are made to look younger than their actual age. To give you an example, we can talk about Kurt Russell from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. He looked exactly like his younger version in the movie. So overall I can say that Michael Keaton in this day and age is definitely not too old to play Batman in a few more movies. It all depends on how his character is written within the DCEU. Is he going to play an active role as Batman and fight crime along with his other Bat family members, or would he just play a mentor-type role kind of like Nick Fury? All that really matters is how well Warner Brothers is able to use his character and finally build a good interconnected DC cinematic universe like Marvel. If they are able to do that, I think fans would have no problem with Michael Keaton being Batman. His costume already looks great as you can see here. Later on as he gets older, he also has the added advantage of playing an older Bruce Wayne for a Batman Beyond movie. We already have a live-action Batman right now. So, the DCEU might very well focus more on Batman Beyond and take the universe forward. But personally, if you ask me, I definitely do not want him as the new DCEU Dark Knight because Ben Affleck is my second favorite Batman and I just loved his performance in Batman vs Superman and Zack Snyder's Justice League of course. However, I think Ben Affleck will return as I strongly believe the Snyderverse will be restored and will continue as an Elseworlds storyline. We may also see Ben Affleck reprise his role if DC decides to do a Crisis on Infinite Earths movie where we can witness multiple iterations of the same character. So, that is all I have to say in this video. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed it please do not forget to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.